Hello everyone, this is Sanjay Parashar. Welcome back to our channel Integration Guru. And uh, today we will be learning about file adapter in SOA. Today is our eighth session in SOA tutorial series. We have started another series of OSB tutorial. So if you haven't checked that out yet, please, I highly recommend for you guys to check that out. And today we will simply move one file from one folder to another. So I have created these directories in my local machine where we have one file here which is a demo file and we will try to read from this folder then delete it and then write it from this folder using our today's demo so let's start so we'll create a new project into SOA So we'll give any relevant name to it. So I'm giving file adapter demo. Click on next. We'll create an empty composite. We we will decide what we want to use as a SOA component later on. So now we will take file adapter from this technology panel and we'll drag it to our exposed services side. So we'll give it as read file from local so file adapter we use to read files and their data if needed from local machine and ftp we use when we want to read a file which is on a different server altogether but today we will be going through this file adapter so here we will select define uh, from operation and schema we will specify them later so we'll click on next so this is a by default JNDI which gets created when you install SOA into your machine. So as file adapter is communicating with your local machine only, then you don't have to explicitly create another JNDI in your outbound connection pool. This will work, but if you want to create your own, you can do that. And web logic configurations of different adapters we will be covering when we will get into different adap adapters like ftp db which actually requires a lot of web logic configurations before developing your code in jdev however in file adapter we actually don't need to configure anything in web logic we can go ahead with this default jndi which is there so let's keep that like this only and we'll click on next so there are different operations read as name suggests to read a file to write a file synchronous read is whenever we want to read a file within our flow in between our flow we want to read some file we can use synchronous read list file is to get the metadata of files which are there in a particular directory and chunk read is when we are reading a large file into chunks However, for today's demo, we will be using read and write operations. So we'll read this file and we'll click on next. And then we will give a physical path, the directory where we want to keep that, uh, where from where we want to read the file. So we want to read the file from here. We'll give it like this and then we'll click on next. Here, it is asking that what is the name pattern of the file which we want to read. So we can give a regular expression like this. Uh, we want it to as any name, but it should be a text file. So we can keep that like this. And we'll click on next now. We want polling frequency to be in seconds. Let's just say three seconds so this use trigger file is also very handy option so whenever you want to poll files based on a particular file name or file type this use trigger file comes in handy however we will try to create a poc on that later on but for this demo we'll try to keep it as simple as possible now here if you have a defined structure of your file and you want to read the data and manipulate that data uh, later on into your business flow you will have to define a schema based on your files that you are polling 
but however as you can see we have a text file which has a text message so no defined pattern of that so we will just simply uh, have the have that as an opaque data opaque is base 64 data so that will give us a simple code for whatever data it is there inside so in this scenario we will not be able to manipulate anything within the data so such with such flat files or text files pdf files we can use this information or we can use this particular option here we'll click on next and finish so now this read file from local is configured and now we want to write this file to the right location so we will drag that file again and we will put it into the external references here and we will give it a relevant name write file to local and we'll click on next specify later we will use this operation write file here now we will give the right location where where exactly we want to write that file so we'll copy and paste it like this and now we want to give a particular format of your file which will be written so suppose we want to give it as test underscore percentage now with percentage we get several options we want to give a random sequence to it or we want to append uh, time to it so let's give it a random sequence and we want it to be the text file only so now let's click on next again we as we do not have any format defined we will use this back option here we click on next and finish so now our source and target both are created now we will need to create a component for now we will be using people process We will keep it as we will define it later we will define the service later on based on whatever input output we have now we can map it here it will ask now if you want it to be sync required or not we can keep it as sync no problem this is for the transactions if you want to keep the existing transaction uh, if you want to take existing transaction forward if you want to create a new transaction altogether and now in people we will have to have certain activities to hold whatever data we get from source so receive activity we use to receive file to get anything from the source when we drag it we'll get this option we'll click on this input variable and it will create an input variable of whatever type is defined to the file adapter we'll have to click on this check instance as this is the starting activity so if you don't check this when you will try to build the program you'll get an error that no starting activity is defined so we'll have to tell the compiler that you should be starting from this particular activity so we'll check this create instance option here and now we want to write it so for that we will be using invoke so receive to receive the data and invoke is to call an external web service or an external adapter invoke write and similarly when we drag and drop it the partner link of our target will appear here and we can create the variable like this and apply okay now we need to give a connection between this input and this input so that the same file will be created into the target location we'll, click, we'll take this assign activity here assign file and this is the input as you can see opaque element base 64 binary so you will get to see it when we will test it you will know that how it looks it's a simple some sort of code that will come now we'll apply it okay and now our compositor is ready to be deployed
so let's deploy this service and we'll test it later on so as you can see that service has been deployed now to the default partition and now we can go to our enterprise manager and we can test that service so as you guys can see that this service is here right and now one thing you will notice that this test button is disabled it has been graded out the reason being because it has not been exposed as a web service or anything the trigger point for this service is to have a file to the read location as it is active that means it is actively listening to this particular location so what we'll need to do is we will copy this file which has contained this is file demo I'll copy this file we'll put it here and in three seconds it should disappear from here if our code is working okay so it did it did disappear and we should be having this file into the right file option here so now the sequence is one so the next file should come with sequence two and if you check it did not delete or modify anything in the text so it is there so let's try one more time we'll copy it here paste it to the read directory and it is gone and in right you can see there are two files now with the same structure and if you will check that two instances must have been created by now here we go so just to show you guys how opaque code looks like let me show you how the flow looks like under the flow if you'll see you received this opaque binary data you assigned this to the target and same was written to a particular location so this is it guys uh, we have successfully configured and used file adapter to move file from one location to another and thank you so much for your time and if you have any questions or any suggestions please feel free to comment or email us on our email address integrationguru90 at gmail.com thank you so much you take good care of yourselves and have a nice day ahead bye bye